Hey everyone, welcome to The Daily. Today is February 28th. That means only two more days until the MLS season starts. First of all, we should wish our good friend Taylor Twellman happy birthday. He's actually a leap year baby. So not leap really day his baby. birthday. So it's not technically Benefit his birthday. He's eight years old. We're very happy for him and all that. Greg Lawless alongside Andrew Wiebe at Andrew Wiebe underscore MLS at Gages. Make sure you hit us up on Twitter. All right, we're going to start with everything that went down last night at the Google NYC offices. A Google Plus hangout with all of the journalists across the country, plus journalists in person for Don Garber's yep. March to Soccer address. Uh, a lot came out of this. What struck you? Well, I think the big thing for me right now, and it's, it's on the tip of everybody's tongues, it's expansion. NYC2, Garber's saying, look, we're not willing to wait three years. Not necessarily lighting a fire under the city and, and the government, but saying, we want to have a, a reachable goal here and we need to get started toward that. He also praised Orlando City's efforts down there in Florida. Then the other thing that stuck out to me was the Cascadia Cup discussion. Did not, he was not committal on either side. He said, look, we've opened up discussions with the Cascadia Council. We're talking to them. We're trying to find a solution before the end of the season. That may not be enough for the Cascadia Council, but at least the lines are open and they're now talking. Yeah, I think one thing that struck me was the talk about investment in players and looking to try and get more investment into the players and all the money that's gone into actually the development and the academies and things like that. And not necessarily backing down from being able to sell players abroad when necessary for the right deal. Lots going on. You can check it all out on MLSsoccer.com. You can watch the entire address, including the Q&A with all the journalists from the Google offices on MLSsoccer.com. Make sure you check all of that out. And of course, Jersey Week rolls on and five clubs released jerseys on Wednesday, uh, mainly toward the evening as they had their parties in their respective cities. All right. A lot of talk about jerseys. Everyone loves to talk about jerseys. Everyone's a critic when they, all of a sudden we were surrounded by a bunch of Anna Wynn tours and things like that. So here we go. What was your favorite jersey of the five that came out yesterday? I think number one for me easily has to be uh, Montreal's striped Inter Milan-esque jersey. I, I, Taylor said it on, Taylor Twelman said it on Twitter and I was thinking it at the time. He beat me to the punch, but that should be their number one jersey. That is so distinctive, so uh, it just draws you and you want to be wearing that shirt. And I think number two for me, Sporting Kansas City shirt. I did not like it when I saw it on the page. On the players, though, a very sharp look. And then I like Vancouver again. Just a little tweak, but still uh, keeping it fresh. Well, Montreal, actually, an homage to their 1998 jersey back in the day. I think uh, I might have actually played against them back when they were wearing those stripes. I actually like the Seattle one with that one stripe right down the middle. Sort of a, looks almost like a computer code or yeah, something from nice the Matrix well. down there. Let us know which one you think is the best. You can either leave a comment below or uh, hit us up on Twitter again, at Gagens or at Andrew Weeby underscore MLS. We are still two days away from the action on the field. The MLS season kicking off on Saturday, March 2nd. But there's a lot of news going on around players. And we'll start in LA where Robbie Keane was named the captain for the year for the LA Galaxy. Thoughts? Uh, it makes sense to me. Landon Donovan comes back. You have to see what happens. But a picture just came out this today. Landon on a beach in uh, Cambodia. Or, or playing soccer in Cambodia. You gotta be in preseason, gotta be with the team, right decision for me. Finding his soul on a beach in Cambodia, pretty good. Also, uh, news that Obafemi Martins, the Nigerian striker, uh, will come to a three-year deal with Seattle Sounders. Is this what they need? I think so, and you look at, you look at what Freddie Montero wasn't able to provide them in the playoffs last year. I think this is a gambit to do that. If he can bring equal in the regular season and turn it on the playoffs, money well spent. 28 years old, has scored goals pretty much everywhere he's been. He's right now with Levante in Spain. And the last bit of news, the big one really, Thierry Henry coming out and talking about the American way of dealing with things, quote unquote. And he's really talking about the salary cap here and how the salary cap forces teams maybe to lose players. He was talking about Kenny Cooper, yep. a guy he has publicly kind of, uh, you know, hit out at yep. a couple of times yep. himself. And he sees Kenny Cooper go to Dallas for salary cap reasons. He came out very strong about the salary cap, comparing MLS to European leagues and things like this. What do you think about all that? Well, I think you're going to see Europe start to go more towards this model with the fair, pay, fair play rules. They already see that they're spending too much in that area. Now, I have to say, what clubs in Europe, other than perhaps four or five, are actually not selling clubs? Most clubs, including Arsenal, mm -hmm. they're moving players on. Player movement just part of the business. I don't see the connection necessarily here. Well, it's interesting, the article we had on MLSsoccer.com, a lot of comments from fans actually coming against Thierry Henry to say, hang on a second, the salary cap is something that is good for MLS. It controls costs and helps parity and com competition. In fact, here's a comment from Andrew Godbout. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Maybe it's French, it's a Godbout or something. I don't know. Salary cap is good for the league. Just because Europe has longer standing soccer leagues doesn't mean they are better businesses overall.
overall for investors. He does go on to say he would like to see more DP slots for some of the players. Well, and here's the thing you have to remember, allocation money, some of the other things that go into the cap means that they're spending much more than that hard cap given in uh, True. Yep, that's true. Well, let us know what you think about Thierry Henry's comments on the salary cap. And make sure you have signed up for MLS Soccer Fantasy. Fantasy Soccer, wait, how does that go? MLS Fantasy Soccer Manager. Do you have a team yet? I hope so, because if you do, you can get into the Extra Time Radio League. Yeah, we're, uh, we're approaching 1,000 members right now. Code wow. for that one, 7953-1611. Working on prizes. Get in there, start your own league, get started. Make sure you're before that first week, though, otherwise you're behind the game. And Extra Time Radio, another edition will come out later today. We will actually have Skylar Redpath, our one of our writers for fantasy and a long time, very competitive player. I think a he's, winner of this game. Win, before, he's yeah. finished in the top 10 the last five years, which is pretty amazing. Go to fantasy.mlssoccer.com to sign up for your fantasy team. And go to mlssoccer.com slash extra time for everything you need to know about the podcast. That's it for us today. Enjoy the day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.